Section 2.5, Equations of Lines and Linear Models. Pons loop form. When you have the slope, m, and then you do have a one point, x1, y1, and you want to find the linear equation with the slope, m, and passing through this point, then we have the equation called Pons slope form. Okay, y minus y1 equal to the m slope times x minus x1. Highlight this equation. Example 1. Find an equation of the line full 3 and negative 5, having the slope negative 2. So we're going to use the point slope form because we do have a one point and then one slope. So first, write down the equation here. And then the 3 and negative 5, that will be your point x1, y1. And then the slope, which is going to be equal to m, m equal to negative 2. So now you're going to plug it in. Okay, simplify it. So y minus negative 5. So it become y plus 5 here. And then the negative 2, you're going to distribute 1 by 1. So you do have a negative 2x. And the negative, negative become positive. So 2 times 3, that's going to be equal to 6. And then we're going to combine the 9 terms. So we're going to subtract 5 for both sides. And this is our linear equation with two variables, an x and y here. Okay, so when you have the given information with one point and one slope, you could apply the point slope form to find the linear equation. Okay, how about this one? Find the equation of the line passing through negative 4 and 3 and 5 and negative 1. Why do we sell in standard form? Okay, so this time I don't have the slope. I only have a two order pairs and I want to write it in the standard form. Let's do it together. Okay, so remember how to find the slope? The slope that will be equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And also we do have the point slope form. Means we do have a one point, one slope, we could find the linear equation. That will be y minus y1 equal to slope x minus x1. Okay, right? <clears throat> Okay, now we do have a two order pairs here. So first, we're going to find out the slope. We're going to plug in here. The slope will be equal to y2 minus y1. I'm going to call this as x1, y1. This is going to be my x2, y2. So I have a negative 1 minus 3. And then x2 will be 5 minus negative 4 here. Okay, so you got negative 4 over 9. This is going to be my slope. And then after I find the slope, I could use the point slope form. It doesn't matter which one you're going to use. You're going to get the same answer. Okay, so let me use the negative 4 and 3 here. So I plug into the point slope form. Y minus 3 equal to the slope times x minus negative 4. Okay, so I could distribute it. I have a negative 4 over 9x. Negative, negative become positive. Positive times negative, I'm going to get the negative. So that will be 16 over 9 here. And then what is the standard form? Okay, standard form that will be ax plus by equal to c. That will be the standard form here. Okay, so um, I want to get out the fraction here, so I'm gonna multiply by 9 for the whole equation. 
So I'm going to get 9y minus 27 equal to distribute the 9 one by one. So simplify it, negative 4x minus 16. Okay, I need to rewrite it to the in standard form. So I'm going to add 4x for both sides. And then I'm going to add 27 for both sides. So 27 minus 16. So that will be equal to 11. Okay. So we either you have a one pawn, one slope, you could apply the pawn slope form. If you have a two pawns, then you want to use these two pawns, find out the slope first. And then use either one of the pawn and with the slope, finding the linear equation. And I need you guys remember what is the standard form. Standard form will be ax plus by equal to c. Okay, so this is how the solution. Okay, so they multiply by 9 here though. Same thing. Okay, so 4x plus 9y equal to 11. Okay, slope intercept form. What is the slope intercept form? As a special case, suppose that a line passes through the point 0B. So the line has y-intercept. The B here is going to be the y-intercept. If the line has the slope m, then using the point slope form with x1 equal to 0 and y1 equal to b gives the following. So I'm using the point slope form. This is going to be my point slope form. And then my y-intercept. Do you guys remember what is a y-intercept? Y-intercept means there's a line pass through the y-axis. That's an intersection point with the y-axis, with your equation. And for the coordinate here, x will be equal to 0 because it's a y-intercept. And then we just call b. b will be represent your y-intercept. Okay? So I'm going to plug in 0 and the b here. So you're going to have the form y equal to mx plus b. The m here, this is talking about the slope. The b, that will be your y-intercept. Okay? So what did done all this formula? You guys need to remember all this formula for the exam. Okay, so this is going to be the slope. And I have slope intercept form so y equal to m x plus b okay y equal to m x plus b okay try to work on this example find the slope and y intercept of the line with the equation you could see this is going to be the standard form, right? AX plus BY equal to C. How can we rewrite it to the slope intercept form? So Y equal to MX plus B. So first, we're going to subtract the three X for both sides. And then divide it by negative four for the whole equation. Okay, so this is going to be our slope intercept form, y equal to mx plus b. So your slope, that will become 3 over 4. And then the b, which is going to be negative 3. That will be your y-intercept. Okay, then using the slope intercept form, given two points, find an equation of the line full negative 2 and 4 and 2 and 2. Then graph the line using the slope intercept form. So, first, when we have a two points, we try to find out the slope. Okay, plug in the formula y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Try.
find out the slope. So y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So you should get negative one half. We already know what is the slope. So I have the equation y equal to mx plus b. We already found out the slope is going to be negative one half here. Okay, so we need to figure out what is your b. But before that, since if this is the linear equation passing through these two points, I could plug in the points into this equation and I will get the true statement. So I'm going to plug in 2 and 2 in this equation. x equal to 2, y equal to 2. And then the slope, that will be equal to negative 1 half. So you can see I only have a one variable in this equation. So let's try to solve for your b here. So these two cancel out. That will be 2 equal to negative 1 plus b. And then add 1 for both sides. You're going to get b equal to 3. So now we find out the slope and we find out the y-intercept. So we could plug in back to this equation. Okay, so this is going to be the slope-intercept form. Okay, now let's try to go off this equation. So you know your y-intercept, that will be 0 and 3. So that will be this coordinate. And then the slope, that will be y over 1. Okay, y over 1. Since I have a negative 1 over 2, so instead of going up, we're going to be going down one unit, okay? And then go to the right, positive two. So go to the right two units. So one, two here. So we're going to get another point. And then you're going to join these three points together. Okay? Example five. Use the graph to find the slope y-intercept and x-intercept. And then write the equation of the function. Function means f of x. Okay, so first, let's find out the easiest one is going to be your y-intercept, right? So this point, so this is going to be 0, 5. That will be your y-intercept. We have the y-intercept 0 and 5, okay? Which is going to be b equal to 5 here. And then the slope, you could use like these two coordinates plug into the slope formula. Or you could think about it. Slope that is means y over 1. So think about it. If I go like this point, I'm going to go down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So I'm going to go down 5 units. So that's why I put the negative, negative 5. And then I go to the left, 1, 2, also negative. Go to the right, that will be negative 2. So I know the slope is going to be 5 over 2, okay? Or you could find the x-intercept. This is the y-intercept. This guy, that will be the x-intercept. x-intercept, that will be negative 2 and 0, okay? So you do have these two points, 0, 5, and negative 2. So you could plug in the slope formula to find out the slope. So you're going to get the same answer. Okay, I saw you really quick here. So y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So that will be 5 over 2 also. Same idea. Okay, either way. So we already find out the slope, find out the y-intercept and x-intercept. So now we're going to write down the equation of the function. So we could write down the uh, slope-intercept form, right? y equal to mx plus b. You already know the slope is going to be 5 over 2. And then the b, that will be equal to 5. Okay? So y equal to 5 over 2, x plus 5. Okay, look at the solution here. We have the y-intercept, 5, 0. x-intercept, negative 2, 0. And then the slope, we just find it out, is 5 over 2. So we could find the linear equation is y equal to 5 over 2x plus 5. And then we need to write it as f of x. 
So we're going to replace the y with the f of x here. Okay. Equation of vertical and horizontal lines. An equation of the vertical line for the points A, B is x equal to A. Okay, talking about the vertical line, x equal to A. An equation of the horizontal line for the point A, B, that will be y equal to B. Okay, horizontal line, y equal to B. Parallel lines. Two long vertical lines are parallel if and only if they have the same slope. Okay, I need you guys to write it down for this one. Parallel lines, we always use like this notation. Okay, two, two lines, this means like parallel. So when L1 parallel to L2, okay, this is talking about the equation. Equation of L1 is parallel to the equation of L2. Then the slope will be the same thing. M1 will be equal to M2. It's going to be both way. Okay, if you know these two lines are parallel, means they do have the same slope. Okay, M1 equal to M2. And then next one, perpendicular lines. Perpendicular. Okay, perpendicular lines. Perpendicular, you could use this notation. If L1 perpendicular to L2, these two equations perpendicular to each other, then M1 times M2 equal to negative 1. Multiply of their slope, that will be equal to negative 1. Or you could think about it, M1 will be equal to negative 1 over m2 either way same thing same idea okay the slope that will be equal to negative of inverse of this slope for example if i have a slope equal to 2 then another slope that will be negative one half or if my slope is gonna be 4 over 5 negative 4 over 5 then another slope is going to be reciprocal of this guy and then opposite side. So it's going to be 5 over 4. You could double check. When they multiply it, it's supposed to be equal to negative 1. Multiply it, that will be equal to negative 1. Okay, this is the idea of perpendicular lines. Okay, let's try to do the example together. Write an equation in both slope intercept form and standard form of the line that passes through the point 2 and negative 4. That is parallel to the line 3x minus 2y equal to 5. Okay, so after you get the final answer, you have to write it in the slope intercept form and also the standard form. So now I have the information that. My equation here is going to be passed through this point, 2 and negative 4. And then it's going to be parallel to this line, 3x minus 2y equal to 5. Okay, so remember, if we want to form the linear equation, we need one point and one slope, or we need two points, right? I already have the given points in here. I only need to find out the slope. Okay, so first, let's try to rewrite this equation to the slope intercept form. So we're going to subtract 3x for both sides. So we have a negative 2y equal to negative 3x plus 5. And then we're going to divide it by negative 2 for the whole equation. So y equal to 3 over 2x minus 5 over 2. Okay, right? Negative, negative become positive. And this one is going to be positive, negative become negative. So I know the slope of this equation will be 3 over 2. 
since they are parallel to each other. So the equation that we find, they do have the same slope, phi over 2. Now, let's use the point slope form. y minus y1 equal to mx minus x1. So y minus negative 4, phi over 2, x minus 2. So that will be y plus 4 here, phi over 2x minus cancel out. So it's only 3 here. Okay. And then we're going to subtract 4 for both sides. So that will be negative 7. Okay. So this is going to be the slope intercept form. And then we need to rewrite to the standard form. So I could multiply by 2 for the whole equation. So I have 2y equal to times 2, 3x minus times 2, I'm going to get 14. Okay, and then I try to make the coefficient of x become positive. So I'm going to add 14 for both sides and subtract the 2y. Okay, so 3x minus 2y equal to 14. This is going to be the standard form. Okay, check our work. So first, find out the slope. Right, and since they are parallel to each other, so they're using the same slope. Plug in the points and also the slope here, simplify it. So the first answer that would be y equal to phi over 2x minus 7. That's a slope intercept form. And then we're gonna multiply by 2 for the whole equation, and you're gonna get phi x minus 2y equal to 14. This is gonna be your standard form here. Find an equation in both slope intercept form and the standard form of the line that pass through the point 3 and 5 that is perpendicular to the line 2x plus 5y equal to 4. Okay, pretty similar idea. I do have a one point here. Three and five. And then I have another equation here. They are perpendicular to each other. Okay, first let's find out the slope. We're gonna subtract 2x for both sides. Divided by 5. Okay, you know the first slope that will be negative 2 over 5. So if two lines are perpendicular, so we need to find out an other slope that will be opposite side of this guy and inverse means you're going to flip it. So the M2 will be 5 over 2. Okay, you could double check. Remember M1 times M2 is supposed to be equal to negative 1 if these two equations are perpendicular to each other. So we we'll have a negative 2 over 5 times 5 over 2. Simplify it, that's equal to negative 1. This is good. Okay, so we do have the slope for this one. 5 over 2. Okay, now let's use the point slope form. y minus y1 equal to m x minus x1. So y minus 5 equal to 5 over 2 x minus 3. Distribute it, so 5 over 2x minus 15 over 2. Okay, we're going to add 5 for both sides. Okay, so uh, we need to get the same denominator, so you're going to times 2 over 2. 
So you have y equal to 5 over 2x minus 15 over 2 plus 10 over 2. Okay, combine it, negative 15 plus 5, which is going to be negative 5 over 2. Okay, so this is going to be slope-intercept form. And then we want to multiply by 2 for the whole equation. So 2y equal to 5x minus 5. And then we need to write it as a standard form. So 5x minus 2y equal to 5. That's the standard form. Okay, check your work. So the perpendicular slope is going to be 5 over 2, which is good here. And then use the Pond's slope form, plug it in. This is going to be the slope intercept form. And then this is going to be the standard form. Okay. Okay, this is just like the summary. When you have a y equal to mx plus b, this is called the slope-intercept form. m will be your slope, b will be your y-intercept. And this is going to be point-slope form, when you have a one point and then one slope. And this is called the standard form. Okay, ax plus b, y equal to c. And horizontal line, horizontal equation, y equal to b, Vertical equation, that will be x equal to a. That's it.